live. We're back. We're back. We're back. Episode two, behind the beat podcast with my man MC Random in the what house. Up, what up? What up? What up? Woo! What up? Man, it's one of my favorite fucking beats right here. Right <laughs> this was called Close Off. Ooh. It's crazy. Oh, this man. isn't gonna be the one we're behind the beat with, but uh, it's this crazy King Curtis oh, uh, uh, sample. We're gonna have to do a behind the beat on this one, though, man. You're yeah. teasing them too hard <laughs> with this shit right here, bro. This is one of my favorite fucking beats, man. Woo. Uh, what are we doing today? What behind the beat are we doing today, Random? Hold on, dude. You guys gotta hear the original sample. Ah, uh, you're gonna do it to him right nah, now? I'm gonna do it Ah, uh, no, we can't. We gotta do this one today, then. Nah, we're, 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 we gotta we're, do this one today, then. You gave him way too much on that one. Too much, too much. What's going on? What's going yeah, on, everybody? What's up, How's Random? This How is Behind today, the Beat bro? with Random and Junebug, man. How you doing today, Junebug? Chilling, man. You know, I got a veteran beat smith in the house, <laughs> and you got a motherfucker that just appreciates beats like a motherfucker, and I always wish he did it. So there you this go. makes a good combo for Behind the Beats. Yep. I asked all the fucking intricate questions, and he answers them all. As, to the best of my ability. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, you know, episode two. About to hit it off right now. What do we got today, Random? Uh, we're working with an artist. Her name is uh, Lady Bird. Shout out, Lady Bird. She's Lady been Bird, under, Lady she's Bird. She's been under the weather, man. She's oh, man. What happened to Lady Bird? What's going oh, on? She, she, you know, Lady Bird, she probably ate some bad bird seeds. Oh. And, uh, she, she's, she broke she's a little doing, wing. She broke a little wing. She's she doing better now. She's on the men. Okay. Uh, shout out Stacy. Stacy brought it to our attention. Stacy Justice. What up? So, um, you know, uh, we, we, we did a record together. We're going to release her as an artist. And uh, we did eight tracks on the on the on the album. It was a very good album. Oh, it is. It's just, I like to call it roller skate music, man, because it reminds you of, like that '70s soul feel that to little it. Groovy, yeah, it's got yeah. that groovy. But you know, she she's Latina, you know, so she wanted to get a little Latina uh, a joint going on. And I'm like, you know, Apocalypse makes beats like that. And she was like, What's Yeah, Apocalypse? man, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Crew, man. Shout out Area 51, man. Apocalypse Crow Mag, Boogie Man, what's happening? But uh. Uh, she was like, oh, yeah, you know, Apocalypse makes beats, but why don't you just try something? I'm like, all right, well, you know, whatever. So I'm, I'm going through, you know, you know, samples and whatnot, and I come across this uh, this Linda Ronstadt. She did a whole... Linda uh, Ronstadt. Yeah, she did a whole Mexican uh, album. There's a whole... There's a lot of Linda Ronstadt fans out there. Oh, me. man. She's like a premier uh, uh, vocalist. She, she I think she plays instruments as well. I think she plays guitar. What kind of music does she do? What kind of music? Well... She, well, now we call it classic rock, but what did they call it when it was happening? What is, it was just rock and roll. It's not, it wasn't rock and roll. I don't know, man. Because now they call it. Uh, she, they probably called it alternative at the time. But she now she does is in classic rock section. Mm. And Linda Ronstadt, she was a, a, a at the forefront of a lot of like the sounds you you, you grew up to. And you didn't even know that your parents was listening to. It was Linda Ronstadt, man. And anyway, she did a whole uh, a whole uh, uh, Mexican record. It was dope. Like a Mex- what do you mean by a Mexican record? Well, I want to say it was in Spanish, but she was of Mexican heritage. So the, the, the record cover was her in, like, you know, the red, uh, white, and green dress. And oh, okay. So it's, it's, it's she played uh, respect a to the Mexican. Record. It was a heritage gotcha. record. All right. Yeah. So, and, and um, it was a good record. And, you know, I started listening to it, you know, whatever. And I came across this one. And it was, it was busy, but I was like, okay, I, I, I think I hear something, but. You know, the name of the, the, the record was La, La Cigarra. I'm, I'm going to play it for you. La Cigarra? La Cigarra. Okay. I'm assuming that means... The, right there. Oh, that's the name of the beat. Oh, gotcha. That's the name of the beat. But the name of the sample was uh, La, Cigarra. La Cigarra. Yeah, but we do have to load it up. You're absolutely right. right. La Cigarra. So we're going to check a behind Ooh. the beat of... And the name of the so song... So how, how'd, how, how'd you find this sample? Like I said, she said she wanted to do something, you know, with some... Uh, 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 sp- she wanted to do some Spanish music. And I was like, well, you know, I don't really, you know, do that. I, I got some, like, Spanish funk that I listen to and Spanish soul that I listen to, but nothing in particular. And I, I wasn't really knowing what she was talking about. And, and she was like, well, just do you. You know, no. Uh, hey, shout out Louie. Mina just walked up in the house. Louie and Mina in the house right now. What up? She was like, just do you, you know. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'll give it a shot, you know. So I just was listening to a couple of records, and I came across this one. And it's very busy, but but man, it was it was it's a beautiful record, man. And this one's called La Cigar. I'm gonna play it for you guys. <coughs> yeah, see, the first thing that caught my attention was was those like strings. That's craziness. 
And if you listen to it, it's got like a little bass underneath it too. Oh yeah. It's that bass guitar. Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is some different even what she used to do. Yeah, yeah. She she said she didn't traditionally do this kind of music. She when she did this she did this after, you know, she's been living around there for a while, and she was like, this was a, a project of love for her. I remember seeing the interviews for this and her being very passionate about this project. And uh, so I was like, man, that's cool, man. That's tight. But, uh, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, that a lot of pieces in there that I heard, man. So I was like, okay, well, let me try and chop it up. And usually when I chop up a sample, I'll try to get like a tempo of what I want the, the song to do. I didn't really hear anything. I'm, I'm just... I, those strings in the beginning, those strings are just beautiful to me. They're, they're, they're just like, but it's sort of off. It's not really on. It's sort of like a, a waltz. It's almost like a three instead of a four. It's weird. Yeah, that's why I, I, I was saying earlier, this beat is a little weird, man. Like, I, I wouldn't know how to chop this if, if I knew how to fucking make music, first of all. Well, well, well I'm proceeding to chop it. I don't know if you can see this. So each one of those lines out there is a chop. I figured out one of the, the, the strings. So I just piece each one of those into as many of those as I can. That's like a, that's a gang of chops, bro. So there's, there's a lot of chops. That's that's more chops than I usually like to use. That's 16 fucking chops. Right? Just for, I know, just for that. And then, there, and, then I knew, and then I heard in the other part of the song, there was other parts that I, I wanted to use. How, did you have to slow it down at all? Like how? how did that I didn't work? really slow it down either. I, I, cause I, cause when I was that choppy, I knew I was gonna make my own, like, beat. So I, and plus I really don't like slowing samples down too much. Sometimes when you slow samples down, if you don't do it the right, not saying it's the right or wrong way, but if you don't like pitch shift it, and you take it out of the natural key that it's in, sometimes when you have musicians play on top of it or you play on top of it. It's a little half of a, a beat off because when you've when you've tuned it down, you haven't necessarily, you know, you, you just slowed it down for the sake of slowing it down. But you've also changed the key of the song, and sometimes the key is in the middle of the of the of the of the uh, thread. It's it's not this. It's not a true key. So sometimes musicians have to tune in, and it's easy easy to do that. It sounds more regular when I do it. So I try to not to slow things down too much. But I knew that this was going to be a chopper. You knew you, you were going to have to chop, the, I was fuck chop the fuck out of it. And there was like little pieces in there I wanted, like these little horns. Like I knew I was going to get that. I, I'll listen to the whole sound and that's one of the first things I heard is that. Because I knew I could use that as a piece in this one. I knew I could do that. So, I decided, you know, put it on there, you know. I got them all on, it, on my pads right here. And I came up with a fly ass like, you know. It was different because I had to make it a four because it was a three. Off. I did it like a uh, 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 so it's uh -huh. you know, so it's it, it I had to, I had to make the beat, I had to. Cause it, it, those, that's banana shit, right? Okay. So it seems like it's off. It's a little fucked up. I don't even know why, man. It, well, it, it's probably because you're just listening to the original sample again without the beat. Because the beat really is going to fucking work that. that. I'm telling you, this <laughs> sample's crazy, bro. And that's why I think, like, I don't know. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Well, maybe. 
I don't know. Let me see. I want to see something. I'm wondering if it's the wrong. I saw 120 and then 68. Yeah. yeah. Is there a discrepancy there? Yeah, because the uh, first uh, thing is a different tempo than the other. See, and I think that's what it was. I'm gonna let you figure it out. I'm gonna go get me a, a Diet Coke. Get what? I will try to figure this shit out. Cause this is the thing going on. I'm gonna have to reload this motherfucker. Let's see what it sounds like. It's song. I think it's shifted off. Boy. Watch. I think it's fucked up. We're gonna go like this. This is a reload. That is a reload. It sounds like the, all of the things just shifted up. What? Sometimes with software, sometimes with anything, man. Shit just breaks all the time. You got to be able to shake that shit off. You know how many beats I lost? <laughs> you don't even want to know. Well, you might want to know. Shame on you for wanting to know. I lost a lot of beats, man. Save frequently. Best advice I can give it to young young producers: say frequently. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, it got shifted up one. It was weird. So I had to create my own chop with that, uh, with those, with those, uh, now an interesting thing that I did, that I decided, decided to, I decided to take the sample or the chop that I had and filter it through this, this this filter that the MPC has. This MPC has an excellent filter, all right? So it's the exact same sample. I'm gonna turn the, the effect off so you can hear it. That's with the strings and everything, that's it. And everything just like that. I put this filter on it, like so. And you hear that the, you hear the, the bass is doing something different now. It's, doing, it's moving in a different way now. It's got a different bob to it now, you know? So using that, I built my drums around that. You see the chops. It took a, uh, I took a uh, trap pack beat that I had, and I chopped it up into different pads so I can make my own. To, you know, because I like the snares, I like the hi hats. And I took some of the some of the uh, turnarounds. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that one. I think I use this one too. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So I, I, I chopped them all up and made my own uh, drums out of that. So I like the the, the hi hat and I like the the triangle. The triangle is uh, it's, uh, it's like it's like I want to say I need more of a combo. And as you'll notice, it's a pretty slower beat too. Those, those fast ass, those fast ass uh, uh, violins end up, you know, being like one of those. What do we call it? Like a double time type of beat. So like it was 130 or 120 or 130, whatever the fuck. It was like 128, 126, 136. Jesus Christ! Man. See marijuana. Don't smoke, kids. Read a book. Um, so, in knowing that it was that fast, I knew I could slow it down to half of that. Double time, that's the turn. Put it at 68, and uh, got to pop to it. So you hear the drums are sort of, like they should be fast, because that hi-hat is very persistent, that hi-hat is very defining. And then you got the double stairs and everything in there, too. And then, uh, what else did I add in there? Oh, I added those pieces that I talked about, the 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 the, the little uh the horn. Oh, 
There you go. And then the the piccolo. What is that like? Was that echo there? Or yeah, I put that on there. I put that effect on there. There's what a delay a, sync. It's what called, effect is that? It's delay sync. It comes. I'm telling you this. Uh, as it is, there it is right there. I put it on one eighth time for delay sync. Like I'll take it off so you can't see it. Right now. That's without the effect. That's ah, the delay sync. So delay sync. It's the. That's sync. what it sounds without it. Yeah, the sync is gonna is gonna you know sync up with the beat with the tempo of the beat. So that's gonna you want it to sync, and so if you have the tempo, which of course you do because you're making the beat, you can control the the rate of your delay. And I have the delay set at 1.8 right now, so we're gonna turn it back on, and you hear how it gives it flavor. Got you know what I'm saying? It. Yeah. And I added, you can make how wet you want and how much feedback you do want to bring. But uh, that's that's where I want it right there. So that's just a little, little piece of that. Okay. That's yeah, tight. What else do we add? So with or without, that was dope. Oh. Oh, yeah. I added this one plug in, this Lounge Lizard plug in. Shout out my man, Tone Touch, man. He hit, you know what this plug is? Banana. It's called Tone Touch. It's got like all the old school, like Rhodes, Wurlitzers. Uh -huh. Uh, real, 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 like, like, just soulful sounding, you know, organs. And I think this is the Rhodes one. And I put a little, um, I put a little, uh, you know, some keys in there, just to just to go underneath the sample, you know. And I'm gonna play them all at once. I just want you to, you know, see the pieces. No, this is awesome. Many, I it's... like this shit. Okay. This is what I want. I like when we break this shit down. You know me. Oh yeah. I, I like I like when shit builds up, man. And you know, we're going for that whole you know, the whole fucking instrumental cues, you know, submitting it to 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 sync licensing and all that shit, you know what I mean? So there's definitely something that we got to you know, go through, break down, get some emotion going. This Let them all uh, like, you know, feel that shit. This is I don't know if you guys caught the last episode, but I had that bass that uh Rickenbacker bass. This is the same bass. Sounds a little out of key right here, but when you put it with the sample, it's really, it's effective. It's very effective. Or what else do we have here? I'm sure I probably put like flavor and shit in here. What I put? Yeah, I always, I'm always known for flavors on my ones and, and threes. Ones, <laughs> threes, and fives. My man, ones and threes flavor. are all flavorful. All flavorful. So my twos and fours are a little bland. So They're so gonna, you know. Here's a five flavor coming up. What is this one? Oh yeah, yeah, it's flavor. That's it. And like I said, that's just atmosphere to fill up the songs. Sometimes you don't want songs with a lot of dead air or a lot but of yeah, empty spaces. It just something has to fill. Has to you'll always hear oh, something yeah. different in a song, too. Like, every time you listen to it again and shit, you'll hear some new shit. And that's that nuanced shit. It's interesting. This is a, a break beat that I originally was going to put in the song, but the only th part I liked about it was the snare. So, the original. That was the original. That was it. But I only like the snare. That was the original? Yeah, that's the original break. It's got a little underlying flavor to it too. It's got it's got a little bit, but but I didn't want those 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 kicks were sort of conflicting with the kicks that I had. So I just used the snare. And sometimes it's the slightest things that just, you know, just adds it in there. Yeah, that you wouldn't even know that unless you heard the You would know it until you until you heard the whole thing. Exactly. Where's my kicks? Oh no, I used the break beat. And this is a, not necessarily unusual, but this is a slower tempo song, so getting a breakbeat was kind of hard, finding a, a cool breakbeat that wouldn't, you know, sound too slow doing it. And I like this one because it has a lot of action, and you hear that. Yeah. What kind of breakbeat was that? Like, this is just a little break. This is an arsenal breakbeat? Or yeah, it's in, a, it's in my, you know, it's in my, it's in my, I, I've spent a long time collecting all these things, so. You know, not to devil, not saying I don't want to tell the white Tracy. Because no, people who know the break, they know the You might sell it one day, though. One you day, might yeah. sell the beat. I might, I might. The break beat pack once you run through all of them. So, what do we have here on the side? On uh, Just real quick for those who don't, don't know. What do you have right there on the right side? Over here? Yeah. What is that? These are your, these are your your preloaded packs. Uh, a lot of the uh, uh, VSTs are located over here. A lot of your uh, sample packs that you've maybe loaded. Uh, I, I I try to you know buy, show support to a lot of people who are selling sample packs. 
because you know they they were working very hard to chop things up for him. You know, and there's a couple of people I've uh, I've hooked up, not hooked up with, but uh, I've, I've supported everything they've they've bought, they've uh, sold. Uh, Ill Mind in particular, man, he's, he's got some some dope ass apple packs, man. Blap kits, <laughs> he be killing it. Hold on, let me put this down. Let me let y'all know. Is this is trash. We didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning. It's just the world's been turned. So, yeah, uh, these are like little sample kits I bought. And sometimes, you know, I keep them like the ones I know I'm going to use a lot. Or probably when I first got them, I, I, I put them all over here. But some of them are over here because I use them a lot. There's a couple of uh, ones that are just must-have for um, for producers, man. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys heard of the Masada Cycle, man. They, they got these cycle kits that are just amazing. And uh, they, they make it sound like it's, you're playing a like you're you're playing a break, beat, you know. So it, it gives you just a different flavor just when you're making a beat. Uh, we'll, one of these episodes will go over the side of, the side of packages. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but uh, I just usually keep a lot of stuff that I use over to the side. You, and there's different views you can have on this. Sometimes uh, I, I prefer to go. Uh, I prefer to go to uh, you know my browser. Because that way, you know, a lot of my stuff, like a lot of my files and folders, I keep on my desktop. So, you know, it's just something. You, it's it's like a hot keys over there. That's what that is. And, and, and a lot of my stuff, I keep in, in special folders and things like that. So, but but that, those are the ones I use a lot. But um, where was we at? Oh yeah, these, these drums. It's, it's kind of hard finding a breakbeat for for something that's slow. Because 68 is usually not my comfort zone. But uh, let's see how all this sounds together. There you go. Yeah, everything sort of connects. There's no empty spaces, you know. Go so break it down one more time. Because now it's a whole completely different fucking story right now. You guys gotta hear this song, man. It's called the the song she ended up writing. It is called Fake Love, man. It's bananas. It's, it's a dope song, man. It's one of my favorites on the album. So you can hear the built-in sample in there. You hear the different pieces. Oh yeah, and I threw some little flavors of the of the the the, the violins. I threw them in there intermittently just to give it the different flavor. You hear it. Uh -huh, it here it's coming uh -huh. up right now. Oh no, it's not here. No. No, because this is a different segment. It's coming up in a minute. Here it is right here. And that's the oh. old. <laughs> wanted to we didn't have uh plugins and echoes back in the day right so we had to make our own right so the sp12 had this function called uh the uh, tone decay basically you take the sound and it would spread it across all the pads but just at a different uh not a different tone but at a different uh uh volume so i, I just took this sound right here i went up to 16 level changed the velocity of it that one. So now it spreads out all across the pads. It spreads them all out by volume. Each one is a little bit lower than the next. So in order to give the effect of a fake uh, echo, you go. You know, you do it on time, all which time. is what I did on right here, just to give it that effect. I give it the. When you play it in the mix, uh -huh, uh -huh. when you play it in the mix, it, it goes with everything else, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just blend it in, you know? Blend it in like that. That's dope. Cause, and, and 
a, a producer I worked with a long time ago, man, that LC. He used to tell me that every time you you hear something, you hear something different. You know, so you might have heard this song a million times, and you may hear one thing different. And you're wondering, like, hey, did I mean to do that? Yeah, hell yeah, I meant to do that shit. I put all kinds of, like, hidden Easter eggs in my beats, man, so that you can hear that shit one night when you're driving, like, what the fuck was that? That's funny. But then for the chorus, I just do the, the other part of it, on top of it. I do the, uh, the actual, uh, the actual, uh, strings on top of it. So it's like, it's very, it, it was really, not necessarily easy, but it, it's one of those beats that just vibed out and made itself. <laughs> and like I said, it wasn't much. I threw, a, I threw some extra flavor in there. Uh, you know me, bells and whistles, ones, ones and fives. I always throw extra things like that. And, uh, you know, she's feeling it a lot. And I was feeling as well. I rocked up. We're gonna take a listen to it, and, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you the, the final result. If that's all right with you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Behind the B podcast, exclusive, right? Random, MC Random producer. And like I said, this is a Linda Ronstadt sample. It's called La Cigara. It was off her, I think the name of the album was like Canciona or something. It was, it was her uh, Mexican Heritage album. So it was a good album, man. If you, if you're digging, it's got some gems on there too. Some other stuff I didn't tell you all about. Yeah. What we're going to look for is it's, uh, called Fake Love. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fake Love. Exclusive, exclusive, behind the beat, man, all right, so then you come in, oh yeah, of course, we're going to get a copyright uh, uh, in about uh, two weeks when this shit comes out on this, so we better make as much as we can off of this shit right now, it's dope, good job guys, good job, so this is the final, this is the final, this is the final one of this. We, we had some minor tweaks on about a couple more songs and then we we're gonna go, go uh, ready to go with this. I'm a scoundrel, low down the thought ago. But I swear to God, I changed. That was over two songs ago. Them of a cat's just like, I want you to myself. And the way that booty popping, I don't need nobody else. I'm trying not to lie, give you shady words. But this chicken heart full of love with this lady bird. We not just hooking up, we never breaking up. I'm trying to be the one. This ain't no faking love. 2018, Lady Bird. Flourish and prosper. You know it's something different for me, man. I'm, I'm severely boom back most of the time, so this is the interesting project. I'm very proud of this project. Lady, for you, chicken meat. 
And sometimes you gotta take the whole sample out and let it breathe, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was just uh, one sample, filtered it out. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Hit on that thing. Just filtered it out, got some drums, chopped up the drums, added some brick flair on the ones and fives, and uh, there you have it, man. The name of the beat was K Linda. We, we made fake love out of it. This was behind the beat. What's going down? Uh, there you go. Thank you so much, Random, uh -huh. for taking the time to break that beat down and shit was dope oh thanks man linda ronstadt and she random collaboration <laughs> <laughs> right Before she didn't even know she's looking for now me she now. knows she looking she for needs to check because that shit's gonna blow up that shit's gonna be she dope man I don't hey, can, know, I, man. can i give a quick tease man yeah for sure can I give a absolutely quick tease, are you kidding me i'm uh I'm currently working on a new project you know random ones got like a million projects going on well i mean um you know i was i don't want to say Influenced, but I was definitely inspired by the movie The Wiz. I don't know how many people have seen that movie. Oh, shit. Uh, it was an old uh, movie. It's been, it's been in the 70s. I think it's been like 78. And uh, it was a takeoff of The Wizard of Oz. But it starred all the all the stars, all the, the Motown stars at the time, which was uh, Michael Jackson and uh, and uh, Diana Ross and uh, Nipsey, Ru N yeah, Nipsey Russell and uh, Richard Pryor was in it. Lena Horn was in there. I mean, this was a this was a, a, a movie it was, for the day. It was very like, wow, I, how did they let y'all motherfuckers make this movie? But we, you know, we, the black cinema was a lot. I'm mean, not saying it was a lot bigger and a lot better, but it was prevalent back in the day because you know you had movies like Lady Sings the Blues. You had movies like um, oh, it was one of my favorite movies, Bingo Long and the Traveling All Stars. These are some good movies, it's great movies. But one of these movies was. Uh, the Wiz, but it was in a whole different category, and it, the music and it was all done by Quincy Jones. It was a fantastic movie. If you guys ever get a chance to watch it, just watch this. So I took a lot of the songs from that movie, and I'm trying to to put together my own little story. And I'm, I'm I don't know when it's gonna be ready for you, but I want to sneak peek of some of them because you know we've been going through some 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 things. But he's on down. That's that all depends if uh, you know when shit works. Down the road. <laughs> oh. He's on now. He's on. Down the road. You didn't even want to know how I chopped this one up. This is, oh Down my God. Down the road. Down the road. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So this is on uh, something. This is a, this is a yet titled project, but this is move, this is music inspired by the movie The Wiz. It's all the music that I'm going to be using for this project. You know what I'm saying? Damn. 
Shout out Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones. <laughs> Come on, man. Of we're course, gonna, I'm not gonna, gonna be able to sell that. any of this music. So we're you know, this is that. just gonna be a project of love. Gonna be you this is gonna be a project to, straight to SoundCloud, right? Exactly. And so then I took uh, this one. They got this one called Green. I took that sample, and just, it was just bananas. It's just bananas. It's just fantastic. Of course, okay. of course, okay. I was gonna use all of that. Of course. I think I even put this in song already. <laughs> That's when you know it's official. If I put it in song mode. this one this is on the same project man this is the same thing this is the same music from the same project man this was this part of the movie where they would be they finally made it to emerald city because you know dorothy's trying to get to emerald city to to see the wizard right but except this movie is he's called the wiz so they finally get there and the wiz is demonstrating all of his power and influence by having people in Emerald City, dance to whatever color he deems uh, uh, popular. So, wait a minute. Uh, green. So the name of the song was Green. I want to be seen green. Wouldn't be caught dead red. They say things like that. And then like five minutes later in the song, he changes it to, all right, now the new color's red. And then everyone starts singing a song about being wearing red. It's crazy. It's, 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 I'm Why sure. Why did it go left all of a sudden? I know, you heard that, right? Yeah. I did too. Uh-oh. It was no fault of our own. That's uh, technical difficulties. Excuse us. But yeah, that that's going to be definitely a project of love too. I'm going to play one more. Uh, actually, I did, I've already done like what? Like the four of them for this project already. So, uh, but this one is all right. Because the, there's a, uh, when Dorothy finds out where she has to go, she, she has to ask the the. It's just like the movie when when she came in, she killed the the bad witch, and the other witch told her, "Hey, this is where you gotta go. You gotta go uh, see the wizard. He's gonna take care of you and send you home." Except in this movie, he's called the Wiz, right? So this is the intro to that. This is how you meet the Wiz. Man, I'm telling you, this this gonna, this project is it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is Chop Shoppery. I think we need a whole new one for this, man. I think people have, and, and I'm hoping that if you've never seen this movie, I'm hoping this music will make you want to see this movie. And if you have seen this movie, you'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe he did that with this music. So I want to, you know, I just want to share. It's like one of my favorite movies and, you know, enjoy. It's going to be, I don't know when it's coming out and I don't know how long it's going to be, but uh, it's, it's going to be fun. Imagine somebody killing it on that. Come on, man. It's behind the beat, man. Come on. It's behind the beat. Podcast with MC Random in the house right now, man. Uh, what did we break down today? We broke down. Uh, Give us a recap of what happened. We today. did uh, the Linda Ron stuff. Kay Linda. We did uh, the one we did for uh, for uh, Lady Bird called Fake Love. We, we redid that one. Or not redid it, but we went behind it. Really Which it was it. just a Lynn Ryan stat sample. I uh, chopped up some uh, trap beats and I uh, added some Ric Flair on the ones and fives. All right. And uh, it was 
There it is. So it's run us so. out with that one again on the way out. Thank you very much. You always for, do that. Uh, I always have another one loaded up. And you always say, well, uh, well that's for the next episode. What are we doing on the next episode then? I don't even know yet. You have no idea what the next episode is going to be? What, yeah. do you wanna, what do you want to do on the next episode? I don't know. What do you want to break down? We broke down my, one of my favorites on the first episode. I know. That's so what's good. I have to see what I have in this computer. I got like five laptops with different beats on it, so I have to see which versions it's we can do. All maxed out, so when he yeah. gets, he doesn't like getting an extra hard drive. He just gets a new laptop every it's time true. he maxes it out. It's true. He's it's not lying. Some wasteful shit. Hey, man. I really I can't help it, bro. All right. Well. I, I try to get like hard drives, and the next thing you know, the hard drives are full. That's I just got, that's, man. We yeah, got or, music or broken. Music. Bullshit. We got music and quality music. All right, man. We're getting out of here. Behind the Beat podcast. Thank you very much for tuning in. Here is Linda Ronson, Ke Bonita, or Ke Linda. No, Ke Linda, Linda was the name of the, <laughs> of the sample. Oh, no, the, the name of the beat. The name of the sample was La Cigarra from her, uh, 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 I think it was Canciones album. I, I, I apologize for not knowing the name of the album. But, uh, and we used it. And I'm still trying to load it up right now. But, you know, bear with me. Just, that's, that's what happens when you them with your sexy voice. Yeah, there you go. Good one. Here we go. Peace out, everybody.